in counseling there are basically three things uh, let's say four things that are of utmost importance number 1 is the person who comes for counseling so that person is known as a client or counselee counselee c o u n s e l w e counselee the person who provides the service is a counselor the entire process is known as the counseling process and the change that happens is known as the intervention or um, you can say the uh, the to the, tot the totality of the total clarity that is given that is known as the intervention and then there are certain goals planned and then we come to a to a more clear situation clear solution and the counselee gets some help through that okay so basically uh, what happens here is uh, counseling is a process in which the counselor assists the counselee to make interpretation of facts relating to a choice plan or adjustment which he needs to make what does that mean it means that the counselee when he comes or she comes to the counselor there are certain confusions okay or there are certain um, certain there is certain discomfort as to what interpretations of the events of life that he has to make or she has to make and and they are unable to do so so they have come to a counselor to get that clarified and then once the counselor clarifies it for them then they are in a position in a better position to make a choice okay so this is about counseling psychology so we'll go to the next slide yes so basically what do counseling psychologists do okay so first is that Uh, you would see they can they will they have the, they can work in their own clinics they can work in hospitals they can work in ngos they can work in um, uh, schools they can work in um, even organizations they can work in um, psychiatric hospitals also um, okay they can work in let's say even in military organizations they have counselor these days so these are the places where they uh, where they work because they uh, they they do a lot of motivational more, more lot of you know lot then they provide a lot of clarity to the situation okay so all those places where the uh, the participants or the people working in that organization need clarity to move forward their counselors are engaged okay so uh, they 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 provide counsel they provide psychotherapy like therapy like behavioral therapy cognitive therapy psychoanalytic therapy okay so they can they teach also they take part in research career development uh, testing assessment and evaluation so sometimes you have these personality tests or let's say depression inventory etc so they help you to take those tests to know basically where do you stand okay so these are psychometric tests so basically they are trying to measure the psychological attributes of the issues so they can tell you whether you are suffering from uh, depression whether there is an issue with the coping style whether there is a there is any discrepancy between what you think and what you do if there is any issue with uh, the self concept or let's say uh, you you if you are prejudiced or if you feel that you know something is lacking in you so all this can be seen under psychometric uh, assessment okay then they are involved with supervision consultation uh, sometimes they are also uh, even the administration of a place let's say of a state of a country they also take of an any organization also they take help of these counselors okay why uh, in social justice or to provide any uh, you can say any help motivation to clear out any um, uh, any prejudice any neglect okay it's or they it, they are also used to um for obedience for conformity for compliance of any issue so all of these activities the counseling psychologists do okay so is it understood till here uh, please write a yes so that i know that uh, you 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 are getting the point yes ma'am yes please write a yes in the chat box all those who don't want to uh, come on voice yes okay ठीक है तो विल गो टू द नेक्स्ट स्लाइड सो फ्रेंड्स अगेन देन देयर इज अ लिटिल बिट डिफरेंस बिटवीन काउंसलिंग एंड साइकोथेरेपी सो काउंसलिंग बेसिकली हियर स्पेशली इन इंडिया बोथ द थिंग्स आर 
generally merged okay so there is a little very very fine difference the difference is that counseling is basically a short term thing because you have come with a very specific problem and you need clarity whereas psychotherapy would be a problem which would have very deep roots okay so let's say uh, you are, you have been feeling worthless and you know totally helpless like for months together or maybe years together or let's say you're suffering from some phobia you're suffering from some uh, very deep rooted anxiety so for that psychotherapy is used but when do you come for counseling when you think that you're feeling guilty for only a certain particular event in your life and it's not deep rooted it's just that this thing has happened and after that event you have always been feeling very guilty about it and you want to share it with someone you think that you are a bad person but your mind says that no this was the best thing to do at that time so just to just for the clarity of that particular situation you come for counseling but if there is a there is an event or if there is a thought that is all pervasive or 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 that affects your life in totality then you go for psychotherapy okay the so psychotherapy would be a little long term because it would now need to know uh, what kind of childhood experiences you had what are the causes that led up to the, that led to this issue um uh, till when didn't you have this phobia how did you develop it how has it affected your life how has it affected the life of people around you uh, what all have you done to you know uh, to um, uh, manage this so all of this would include a little long term intervention so psychotherapy is that whereas counseling is a short term process and it is uh, totally directed at a very specific event okay and um, it just want it just um, uh, you know it it's less in depth and it wants to give clarity to particular situations only okay and uh, once the counselor basically does not provide a solution to the client or to the counselee directly ki theek hai apna ye kar lo aur aapka kaam ho jayega you will not feel guilty anymore no the client all you must remember the counselor is not a doctor is not a magician is not god he will not give you the solution he'll only put the choices before you and you as an individual will be empowered enough by that time to take the decision yourself and also own the responsibility for it right so that is what a counselor will do a psychotherapist on the other hand will uncover the let's say the hidden uh, aspects and it it will try to take up the issues which are very deep in nature and also it will try to make the client uh, more uh, functional more sustainable for longer period of time so that if such situations occur he or she can handle it all by themselves okay all by himself so this was a basic difference between counseling and psychotherapy so why i i, I have put this slide is because psychotherapy basically is a part under clinical psychology but in india and in other third world countries it is merged with counseling psychology so many at times while you are taking up optional whether clinical or counseling you might want to do a course on psychotherapy so you should not think that this is not related to my field psychotherapy if you are doing psychotherapy it will be helpful both for counseling and both for clinical psychology so uh, that is the reason i have put this slide here i'll come to it i'll come to it what's the difference between counseling and guidance i'll come to it <clears throat> okay so what are the benefits of counseling so benefits of counseling is uh you know people will have less anxiety they'll have greater self confidence they'll be better in their relationships if they'll have emotional balance they'll be they'll have increased assertiveness you know they'll have um it, it's a stress buster you can say they'll be able to set boundaries and whatever trauma pain they have uh, that will be a th there will be a resolution to it okay so and these are some of the benefits of counseling so we can go to the next one yes yes friends so next is a uh, clinical psychology versus counseling psychology the difference i think i've told this to you pretty well uh, will not go through this slide only because uh, you might need it to note down something and you'll have the ppt so i have put it here uh, i just told you that it is more uh, clinical psychology is about more um, 
you know, it's about more deeper things and more severe things, whereas counseling is little less severe, little less in depth. Uh, uh, clinical psychology is more about the hidden things and it has to do a lot about causes. It goes back forth to know the causes, to know the stimulus, to know the reaction, whereas counseling psychology is more at the present. So if you're suffering from any uh, or if you're like suffering from pain of any single particular issue uh, that would come under counseling psychology. OK, so you can just go through this slide. There's nothing uh, except an extra that I had told you. It's just that if you wanted to retain it in form of a slide, so I've put it there. OK, so we can go to the next. Uh, we can go to the next slide. OK. So clinical psychology and counseling psychology. This is just like a last uh, after I to conclude it in one uh, place. It's like uh, clinical psychology would be more individualistic. OK, so if you, if, you're, if somebody suffering from serious me me mental illness, OK, and they take up issues under behavioral issues or let's say any emotional issues, any traumatic issues and uh, 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 mostly clinical psychologists would work in clinics and hospitals and they emphasize on psychopathology or disorders, whereas counseling psychology is more about the healthier individuals, but who are uh, at a point where they cannot make proper choices. So they are they, they are they, they are more um, inclined towards humanistic and uh, client centered approach. OK, uh, they can work in universities, NGOs, etc. And then they prefer vocational assessment or let's say those areas of life where um, you know uh, wherever you're feeling guilty or wherever you're feeling little low, they only cater to those areas. So they're not very much concerned about what happened in your childhood. How was your relationship with someone? It is just like very much present and in in right right uh, now time approach. OK, so this was the difference between clinical and counseling. So Yes, uh, is, is is this OK till here? Please write a yes so that I know. The question was, ki, what is the difference between counseling and guidance? So friend, first of all, counseling is given by somebody who is professionally adept in it. OK, somebody who has studied counseling psychology or has taken up training to be a counselor. Guidance is something is just, it's just like an advice. OK. So here there is no clarity given. There is no, um, uh, no, not no. Uh, there is uh, no specifications made to the pros and cons. Rather, it is a senior or it is somebody whom you look up to or it is somebody whom you think can give you a right advice. You go to that person and that person provides you the guidance. Let me give you an example. Um, suppose uh, you are somebody who is equally good in science and literature. OK, rare situation, but let's say as a why that you are good in maths also, you're good in literature also. Uh, now maths is something which looks very interesting to you, but literature is something which you know brings out the creativity in you. So you are now at a crossroad whether to opt science or whether to opt arts. Now if you go to let's say your parents or uh, let's say somebody in your family uh, who is very strong academically, and then he he tells you like this, you should take up maths because abhi, you know, abhi, uh, the uh, educational line is such that maths will give you a boost. Maths ke, but if you take up maths, so this is just plain guidance because he is not he is not professionally trained. Number one, uh, second, you you are listening to him because you look up to him and he's giving you a direct uh, direct solution or he's, he's issuing a directive to you that you must take this or you should take this. Whereas um, there was a lot of confusion even after consulting, uh, let's say this person and then you go to a certified counselor. So what he would do is probably he would say that see, I feel you are lacking in choosing your attitude. So why don't you give a test? Uh, let's say a test uh, which will measure your aptitude in different fields. Let's say your literature in the literature field, in the performance based subjects field like music, dance, etc. in science. So once you have given that test, so suppose you get somewhere between 95 to 100 and that shows you are more creative than analytical. 
सो द काउंसिलर देयर वुड नॉट टेल यू कि आपको इंग्लिश ही लेना चाहिए बट द काउंसिलर विल से that the test results indicate that you have a more inclination towards the creative uh, side so if you are taking up uh, let's say if you are taking up uh, english so or if you are taking up literature so these 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 things you will be able to do on the other hand if you are taking up maths or if you are taking up science uh, then you can go for research which is again a very creative aspect uh, you can go for teaching because then you can use your own innovations to teach Uh, or you can take up something else whatever it is you can go for olympiads or whatever and then i think you should now make an intelligent choice as to what would interest you more so the second part is what is counseling the first part that i mentioned was guidance is this clear yes ma'am yes okay Saurav ji asked this question, uh, so I am not sure if he is there. <clears throat> okay, so friends, uh, now next we come to um, the syllabus. Okay, the syllabus that IGNO has set for us and that we have to do. So first of all, we need to know that uh, first year we all have successfully completed. We'll assume that way. So some might be waiting for the result. Some might be still i think would be there to appear for the exam i'm not sure because the dates were little uh, what dates were changed or shifted i think or even the assignment dates were shifted so whatever it is we assume that the first year is done and the sec we are ready for the second year so in second year we have six topics six subjects uh, so one is mpce 0 to 1 mpce 0 to 2 mpce 0 to 3 so only friends when we will be doing this course Uh, it will be it will be a 3.5 uh, months to 4 months course uh, friends will be only taking up the one um, that i mentioned mpc 0 to 1 0 to 2 0 to 3 but you have other three uh, subjects also like uh, 0 to 4 0 to 5 0 to 6 which will not be taken up in this uh, will not be taken up by me under psychomagic institute this will be uh, taken up by you yourself um, Uh, under your subject, under your uh, study center. Okay, so we'll be having this entire course or this entire coaching for only these three uh, topics. That is MPC zero to one, MPC zero to two, MPC zero to three. So now, just quickly, let's look at what all these blocks have. Okay, what all these subjects have. So as you know, MPC is zero to one. Uh, it has four blocks. Okay, under one block, again there are four chapters. So this way, how it is. Um, how the igno curriculum works so in mpce 0 to 1 which is counseling psychology so basically they would just introduce you to what counseling psychology is uh, what are the models and approaches of counseling psychology what are the types of counseling that is offered and counseling for mental disorders okay so they would tell you what are the therapies you can use what are the various interventions that you can do what are the basic uh, treatment models etc so that we will study under mpc 0 to 1 coming to mpc 0 to 2 um, again we have uh, approaches to assessment in counseling assessment in counseling and guidance and organizing and planning in counseling and guidance so here they talk about counseling and guidance in detail and how you can go for both okay so again in indian context many a times counseling and guidance is clubbed together but please understand they are different they are totally different things but yes uh, because it is it is a very fine line difference they are clubbed together many a times okay then in mpc 0 to 3 will be having uh, psychological interventions cognitive behavioral counseling other counseling intervention psychothera psychotherapy across life cycle okay so here uh, we'll be studying about various therapies like uh, let's say under behavioral therapy we'll study about systematic desensitization successive approximation or let's say about chaining shaping etc then we'll have Uh, CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy. Uh, also, we we will study about the stall therapy. We will study about the eclectic approach. We will study about psychoanalytic therapy. So, all the major therapies will be taken up in the last uh, block, that last topic, that is MPC zero to three. So, these are.